Today, Russian authorities arrested supporters of Putin critic Alexei Navalny protesting outside his prison camp, including his personal doctor. A CNN team and other journalists were also briefly held. Now, Navalny is on a hunger strike over what he alleges is a lack of proper medical care for back and leg pain, which Russian authorities deny. Though his team, through his team rather, Navalny also says he has a high fever. And his lawyer tells The Guardian he is, quote, seriously ill. Now, a Russian newspaper reported Navalny was moved to his prison's medical unit, but NBC News has not confirmed that detail. Sky News correspondent Diana Magne filed this report from outside the prison a short time ago. Diana? Hi, Jeff. I am outside penal colony number two in the town of Pokrov, about 100 kilometers east of Moscow, which is where Alexei Navalny is currently in jail. And according to the Izvestia newspaper here, he has been moved to a prison hospital here, although we haven't been able to confirm that ourselves. Last night, he got the message out on Instagram via his lawyers that he has a high fever and also a severe cough. He also said that three of his cellmates had been hospitalized for tuberculosis although uh, the Izvestia paper cited prison officials as saying that wasn't true. That comes on top of a hunger strike, which is now uh, on day six, that he called because he said he's not getting the medical attention that he needs for severe back pain and numbness in both his legs, which he said was probably caused by some kind of trap nerve in the succession of prison vehicles and police cells that he's been in ever since his return from Germany, where, of course, he was recovering from a Novichok nerve agent attack. So it is quite a accumulation, if you will, of health problems, which are uh, concerning to his supporters. Today, a few supporters uh, came down here to try and demand that the prison let in a qualified medical specialist to see Alexei, to check on his uh, condition and how he's doing, but their demands were not met. In fact, uh, six of them were arrested. We have not been allowed to get into the prison, but as you might expect, uh, Russian media was last week. Uh, Maria Butina, who you may remember, was jailed in the US in 2018 as a foreign agent, went in there and her report detailed how, in fact, Alexei's Conditions were far preferable to what she experienced in the U.S. It's the kind of narrative that you might expect, ex expect from Kremlin media. As for the Kremlin itself, they have, of course, always denied anything to do with the poisoning of Alexei Navalny. And today, the Kremlin spokesman said that any prisoner who is ill will get the appropriate treatment. Jeff? Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.